I don't really, you know, I'm not one of these guys that gets a lot of enjoyment from my kids or personal achievement or anything like that. You know, a lot of that, you know, when my kids were born, that was the greatest day. Of my, I don't, I'm not that guy. Right. But the, the greatest day of my life, first, the first, it was driving off a tow truck. I had, I had a car up in full tow and I drove it off the tow truck. Not, not, not the kind, not the bed, not the kind we drive off the bed, but the kind where they slide the two prongs behind your car, lift the back the end of your car up, and start to tow your Wait, car. Wait, so they're towing it? You talked them out of it? No, I didn't talk them out of it. How did you get your car off of it? I drove off it. You just went up there? The guy was about to take off the car, he just drove up? You, you climbed up there and got the car? What, what happened <laughs> is, is uh told the story before, but uh, I'll no, make it quick it. for Bobby Slayton. We were partying. Uh... <laughs> It always starts off if we were partying. <laughs> we, never read good, but we were <laughs> partying at a pool. There was a pool pool hall. There's a pool hall, a big pool hall in Hollywood, right off of uh, like Sunset or Hollywood Boulevard. And after we would finish tapings of the Man Show, we'd wrap. We'd tape on Friday nights, and we'd finish up at I don't know, nine o'clock, ten o'clock at night, and we'd have a beer, and we'd say, "All right, let's go shoot some pool and drink some beers down at this billiards." I think it was like Hollywood Billiards. And so we go down. It was right off the freeway in Hollywood, I think. Big, big billiards place. N- n- always parking lot, always full. So when the park fucking parking lot was full, there's never any place for the boss man to park, of course. So I parked across the street. Now it was also one of those things where they have the signs stacked on the signs, underneath the signs, and above the signs. Like you guys don't understand. I don't come from LA. When they have the signs, no parking Tuesday between noon and 3 for the street sweeper. No parking Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. unless permitted. No parking weekends between... I'm semi-dyslexic. I read at about a third grade level, plus I get bored quickly. Somewhere halfway into the fanned out deck of cards known as the rules of not... I, I can't figure out, wait a minute, if I don't have a permit... And the street sweeper's not coming by. Then I need to move by seven a.m. Or my la- oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's insane. Like it. they, it's insane. They, it's it's really it's 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 they they become fucking totem poles now, just filled with signage. There used to just be one sign. It'd be like no parking, or it'd be you know street sweeper Mondays at you noon. Know, now it's there's literally the fucking cy- encyclopedia of fucking Britannica. You have to read the thing. And so I said fuck it. So what I did. As I parked across the street at the 7-Eleven. But I didn't want to park in front of, you know, I didn't want to pull into one of the 7-Eleven slots and then run across the street and go get drunk and shoot billiards for seven hours. I didn't want to take up the parking lot. The, Plus they probably noticed you there. Probably noticed me that I pulled up right in front of the big glass thing right. and then ran across the street to right. get drunk. So I did this thing where I parked in front of the sign. Now, here's what I mean. If you take a look at the 7-Elevens, they're on a corner, mostly. Right. There's a driveway on this street and a driveway on that street. And then right on the corner where the sidewalk goes around. There's a big pole with the sign. pole right. on the sign. Right. I tucked it in sort of diagonally and tight against the sign. Technically not a parking space, but out of the way. Right. Not in the way of any of the pedestrians walking on the, on the sidewalk and not using up any of the parking spots at the 7-Eleven. I then... Naively went across the street to shoot, shoot pool, uh, have a few beers, and also, uh, keeping with the man show tradition, have people that were either PAs or just scrubs, underlings, you know, segment producers, pe- people that are making four hundred dollars an hour, get drunk and come up to me and tell me what an asshole I was or how much funnier Jimmy was. Right. That was the other thing. Eventually, when you go out and get loaded with the staff, right. eventually one of the PAs of who's course. nineteen is going to come up to you and go, you know what? Your last, that last bit, the uh, woman's suffrage bit, not your best work. Not your best work. And I don't even know the guy's first name. But that's the beauty. That's the good part about getting drunk with your staff and, and, and in the man show. So at some point, maybe about, eh, it was about 11, uh, it was about 1230, 1 o'clock. I wouldn't say I was loaded, but I had a couple of beers and maybe hit off a doobie or something. I was right. feeling pretty good about myself. Shooting some pool, and somebody ran up. Adam, they're towing your car. Now, I'm driving a BMW uh, E36, no, uh, E34, sorry, body style for the gearheads, uh, second generation uh, M3. It's a $46,000 car, and it's practically new. 
I come running out. I see across Sunset or, or, or Hollywood. I can't remember what street that place is on. I think it's Sunset. Anyway, I see across the street. My car's up. It's being towed. It's on one of those tow trucks that has the two. It's like a. It's like it, it's it's the two like spoons that slide underneath your rear. It looks like an old fashioned tow truck, but it slides backwards. It goes to the back of your car and it just lifts the back of the car up. I, I don't know why, or maybe it'll lift the front of your car up. It'll hit it from any angle he can hit it from, but it just lifts up one side of your car with these two prongs that go underneath the tire, and it holds it up at like a 30-degree angle. And, you know, the front or the back of the car is three feet off the ground, basically. And I came running across the street, and I said, uh, hey, man, uh, hey, whoa, 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 you know, sort of like glad I caught you. It was one of those where... There's a tow truck that's on the screen. I don't know if that's the one or not. You'll find you'll find a picture of one of the things up in action. It was like the old style, but it but it's a newer style that had the arms. So how far was out. your car off the ground that you thought you drove it up? The rear wheels were about three feet off the ground, and it doesn't seem like that much, but it's kind of that's a lot. Pretty, that's for, a lot for, for that's that lot. kind of car. So I ran out and I said, uh, "Hey, oh, glad I caught you." Uh, Let's work this out now so, you know, I don't have to follow you to an impound lot. And he right. said, uh, what are you talking about? And I said, well, let's just settle this. Let's take care of this. Right. You're a tow truck driver. I got, some, I, got some, I got some money in my pocket. Yeah, let's just let's take care of this now. No, nah, I'm towing you. And his guy's girlfriend was in the cab. I remember that. He was, I don't know what he was. He was Latin or something. He was, he had, he had a sort of a, he had, he had nationality. I wasn't sure what it was.